Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's Card Breaks. Today we're going to be doing our Time Travel Tuesday edition with this box of 1993-1994 Fleer Power Play. Uh, these are not the most valuable cards in the world. In fact, this might be the worst set I have ever seen. Um, I mean, the quality is nice, but the value in these cards are poor. And I think it's because all the cards are oversized. If you take a look on the other side here, on the side of it, uh, it says it's a 280 card basic set, which is true, but that's just for series one. There's 520 total cards. And what we have here is series one and uh, they are UV coded. So, so they're slathered in SPF, I guess, but it says it's 35% larger than other hockey cards. Like that's something to be proud of. This flare, you got it wrong because anything that's oversized, as we know, um, like for example, these oversized Jack Hughes and Jason Robertson cards back here, um, it's hard to find uh, any top loaders for those. Um, and especially such an odd size uh, as these cards are. Um, there is one insert card in every pack which is uh, pretty cool. Those are the only cards that have any value. Um, the, in Series 1, there is a Wayne Gretzky. There is a Mario Lemieux, and those have a little bit of value. But what we're looking for are these insert cards here. This uh, second year stars, because I guess they really hit their stride in the second year. I mean, it's not always sophomore slump. So, I mean, again, Fleer, you got it wrong. Uh, and then netminders, which uh, of course are goaltenders, um, those cards have some value. And also point leaders, you see over here, which um, there's a Gretzky in there, Iserman, Mario Lemieux, Eric Lindros. So there are some good cards in, in, in that uh, subset. And as you can see right here, this little dot, I paid $10 for these here at another um, sports card store. Uh, it's J and M sports cards here in El Paso. So I didn't invest a whole lot in this. If we get a couple of uh, decent um, insert cards, then it'll more have been paid for itself. Uh, either way, not really out much. So there's 30 packs in here. We're just going to do 10. Uh, I'm not going to waste uh, everyone's time by going through 30 packs of uh, cards that don't have a ton of value. And then what I'll probably do is I'll probably give the rest of the packs away uh, to people who make purchases uh, from my Mercari site as a little bit of a bonus. Uh, speaking of bonuses, uh, don't forget that this Sunday on Super Bowl Sunday, I'm going to be giving away this uh, authentic Mickey Mantle autographed photo of the Mick and uh, Casey Stengel. Thanks to Lynn P for correcting me on that. I, um, incorrectly thought that it was um, Leo DeRocher, but it is Casey Stengel. And that's obvious to me now, but at the time, I, I don't know why I blanked on it. But at any rate, the important part is this guy right here is the Mick. Uh, so this is a, an authentic Mickey Mantle autograph. I have the certificate of authenticity here. It's upside down uh, you know, on the back of the sleeve, um, but the serial numbers do match. It's legit. Um, I got it from a legit vendor. So, um, what you need to do is in this video, unless you've already entered the contest, I believe there's only five or six people who have entered this contest so far. So you have a good chance of winning. So you have to be a subscriber, first of all. Secondly, you have to like this video, hit the like button. And thirdly, in the comments below, I want you to tell me what piece of sports memorabilia or sports cards you would have purchased if you had won the billion dollar uh, mega lottery from last week. So uh, do that in this video here, and um, and I'll enter you in the contest. So I have the little spinny wheel with everyone's name on it. We'll spin the wheel and see who comes up uh, the winner. Okay. All right. Let's get on to these 93, 94 power play Fleer hockey cards. Let's see here. I pre-cut all of them to uh, kind of help me get through it here. So there's Gary Suter, Randy Wood, 
Don Sweeney, Patrick Scrudlin, Sean Van Allen, Richard Smelik, not a good name, Glenn Wesley, Randy Gillen, and Terry Yake of the uh, Anaheim Mighty Ducks. So this was 93, 94. I think this was the year that the Ducks and the, not the Sharks, the Panthers. I think that was the, oh, there's the Panthers right there. So I think this was the inaugural year, which is why these are more portrait. Um, here's another Panther. And then the rest of them are action shots. So I'm guessing that's, that's true. If I, my memory serves me correct. So, um, so yeah, we're looking for, we're looking for Gretzky. We're looking for Lemieux. We're looking for Stevie Y as, uh, we go into the second pack here. There's a uh, Robert Petrovicki. No, I mean, 93, 94, I was 23 years old. So I was really into hockey at this point. Uh, there's the whale. And uh, so, especially 94, Sega Hockey 94, I think that was, um, these are all kind of stuck together. Um, that was kind of the big deal back then. I played that game for, for hours and hours. Tony Amante. And Joseph Baranek. Craig Billington. Tom Barrasso. Shane Corson, Nick Kiprios, and Stefan Richet, and uh, Vincent Damfus from the Canadians. All right, third pack. Yeah, these are all kind of stuck together. I mean, they're nice looking cards. I, I mean, I'm not going to argue that. Um, but in this era of junk wax, when uh, everything was so mass produced, and the fact that these are just odd sized, um, I think that really it makes it kind of hard to really want to collect these. But uh, there were a lot of stars during this era, as Sean Burke from My Whale, Matt Sundin, Mike Ridley, Johan Garpenlov on the Sharks. Was this before or after he played for the Wings? So, yeah, he already played for the Wings a couple of years as we try to get it focused there. I remember him as a Wing. Speaking of Wings, Gerard Gallant played for the Wings for many years, was a coach, and then I think he was the head coach for the Lightning. But here he is kind of like a, uh, a Fleer traded card, as it says, uh, signed by Lightning. And then we have uh, John Cullen, Gerald Diddick, and Nelson Emerson of the Blues. So nothing overly exciting so far. I'm not sure really what I expected from these, um, other than, you know, just nostalgic purposes. There's Jeff Brown from the Blues. Sergey Botin. Mike Madano. So Minnesota had moved to Dallas at this point. I guess I'd forgotten about that, but Mike Madano grew up um, about 10 miles from where I grew up. And uh, he's got himself a rink in Livonia, Michigan. There's uh, Matthew Schneider, Scott Stevens, Mike Richter, Steve Duchesne of the Nordiques. So pre-Avalanche, Jeff Odgers of the Sharks. Hey, there's Stevie Y. So that's probably the best card we've got so far. That'll go into my personal collection. Uh, Zdeno Seguer and Kelly Rudy. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know how I would, um, I mean, how am I going to put these in my collection? Um, I mean, there's not really even a box that you can preserve them in. All right, here we go. So uh, here's Mike Ricci. Hated this guy. He was always a thorn in the side of the uh, Red Wings. John Cullen. There's uh, Gerald Diddick again and Nelson Emerson. Oop. 
Thomas Stern of the Jets, and Ted Donato, Sean Burke of the Whale, Matt Sundin once again. So we're already kind of seeing some repetitiveness. Ed Courtney and Brian Bradley, probably the best of the original Lightning players. All right, as this struggle, the struggle. All right, here's uh, Adam Graves. There's Eric Lindros. So we'll add that to the good pile. So this was his second year in the uh, NHL, I believe. Yeah. So, of course, his rookie cards were all the rage. And, uh, you know, <laughs> unfortunately, the wrong time for him to be a superstar as far as collecting goes, because most of those cards don't have any real value. Uh, there's Robert Petrovicki. And Yari Curry, Vincent Demfus, Stefan Richet, Derek King, Tony Amante, Sylvain Turgeon. Oh, and there's Mario Lemieux. So that's the second best card um, of the base set. Already quite a veteran. First year being 84 85 season. And at this point, he'd already racked up 477 goals. That's incredible. All right, next pack. I mean, the backs of the cards are nice, too. Um, here's Eric Weinrich. I mean, they have a color you know, photo on the back. They have all the pertinent history. So, this, I mean, these are actually fairly nice-looking cards. Daryl Sidor, Lyle Odeline, he's a fighter. Scott Niedemeyer, Scott Lachance, James Patrick, Gary Galley of the Flyers. There's Brad Shaw of the Ottawa Senators. Larry Murphy, he is a, a color commentator for the Wings. Not a color commentator, he does like the, uh, between the, uh, periods commentating, I guess, for the wings. That's a good job. I like it. Put him in my good pile. Uh, Sean McEckern and goaltender Bill Ranford. Okay, a couple more packs here. This is, yeah, this is definitely why I didn't want to do all of them. I'm not really, uh, I'm not sure we're really pulling anything fantastic out of here. Larry Murphy once again. Garth Butcher. I want to say he was a fighter too, but I could be wrong. Trevor Linden, I think this is his rookie card or it's a second year card. Oh, nope, I'm wrong. He was with Vancouver for a few years already. There's Dave Ellett. Oh man, these are all stuck together. Sean Chambers of the Lightning. Tom Peterson. Al Iafredi with a huge slap shot. The Nordique, Scott Young. And here's Sean McEckern, traded to the Penguins. And uh, he's got a Penguins jersey on, but it says, well, shouldn't it, he be in a Kings jersey? And then it say Penguins? Oh, traded from the Penguins. I need to have my, my glasses on for this. Sorry, Flair, you got that one right. Uh, Bill Ranford and Fred, Frederick Olison. A couple more packs to go. So we just don't have the Gretzky yet. That's the only thing we're really missing. There's Mark Lamb, Ronnie Francis, Hall of Famer, Dave Manson, Michael Nylander. There he is, there's Wayne Gretzky. So that's the best card in the base set. I think it's like three or four bucks. It's nothing outrageous, but, um, you know, if you're going to put the money in, you may as well uh, get the Gretzky, the great one. Kirk Muller, Alexander Semek, Benoit Hogue, Pierre Turgeon, Marc Messier. So this is the year before they won the cup, right? They won 94, 95. And there's Rod Brindamore. 
All right, a couple more packs to go. I'm trying to do a little bit better of a job of keeping all of my videos under 20 minutes. As I watch some of the other uh, people who make videos that do it better than I do, it seems like uh, that's kind of their MO. And uh, so that's, that's my new philosophy is to try to keep the videos under 20 minutes if I can. Um, there's Joe Juno of the Bruins and Bill Lindsay, Dmitry Vartlanov. I, that person I don't know. Dale Howard Chuck, Gary Roberts, Lonnie Loach of the Mighty Ducks, Dave Lowry with the um, Angry Kitty Cat, Victor Gordiuk, Alexander Kasatanov, Theo Fleury, and oh, the Grim Reaper, Stu Grimson in the Mighty Duck uniform. He'd already been with uh, Calgary for a while. Look at the penalty minutes. And that's not even in full season. He had one full season for the Blackhawks before. Uh, I don't know. He, he was on the Red Wings there for a while as uh, Probert and Kosher left the um, left the team. We needed to get some some uh, goons in, which they're not really, but and he was one of those guys. There's Michael Nylander, Kirk Muller, Alexander Semek. Benoit Hogue, Adam Graves, Sylvain Turgeon, Igor Kravchuk, Dave Manson, there's Eric Lindros once again, we'll take that, Mario, oh, Mario Lemieux, that's a nice back-to-back, -back. and a Gretzky, well, there you go, that's, other than um, Steve Eiserman, that's probably the best three cards you can get. And in, uh, in the set, we pulled them all in one. What I'll probably do is I'll probably put the, the Gretzky's together and I'll put that on the uh, Mercari site for anybody who might be a Gretzky collector out there. I'll put them whatever the minimum amount um, in case somebody wants them for their collection. I'm sure I'll pull, if we pull two Gretzky's out of 10 packs, I'm sure I'll pull some Gretzky's out of the other packs for my collection. So there's a Frederick Olison. Dave Ellett. This is the last pack, by the way. I appreciate everyone following along. Like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. Time Travel Tuesday is my, probably my favorite thing that I do. I always like to show different kinds of cards. Um, you know, we all know what the junk wax cards look like from this era, and there's really not a lot of fun in going through other than for nostalgic purposes. But if, if you can find something odd, like these Flare 93, 94, that sort of makes it more fun, at least more fun for me, hopefully more fun for the viewer. And uh, if you don't like hockey cards or you, there's a certain kind of card you do like, um, in my playlists on my main page, you can pick hockey or baseball, football, basketball, any of the different sports or uh, Time Travel Tuesdays or I Got This, which is my um, when I, uh, things that I order in the mail. And uh, you can pick whatever you like and you can, you know, watch freely with, instead of having to watch uh, every single video that I create. So just try to make it easier for you. So that's it. That's it for this episode. Um, we did pull a couple of Gretzky's and a couple of Mews and a couple of uh, Eric Lindros's and one Stevie Y. So we're going to leave it on that note. Thanks again for tuning in. And uh, we'll be back this weekend with more great pack breaks. Until then, everyone have a great day.